Hey guys, what's up? My name's Claire. If this is your first time to my channel, I'm so happy you decided to join me today because today is our last hurrah with the summer. I don't even know when fall actually starts, but as you can kind of see, I have like some little pumpkins back here as my little backdrop. I switched it out a little bit. In today's video, I just want to go out and do some bright colors. I want to create just some, one last like really colorful cut crease, which I'm not going to quit with the cut creases, but I want to like try something new. And so we're starting with the fresh face today, as you can see, and we're going to just see how crazy this may get. And I want you to join me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thinking about starting and uploading four times a week, but I already upload three times a week. And I'd love to have you back here. It's a great time. We have a great little little fam. So yeah, thank you for joining me and go ahead and grab your popcorn and we're going to go ahead and get started. You probably already know what we're going to do. We're going to prime the lids and I'm just going to use some shape tape concealer. I'm thinking about investing in like a new like eye primer, but for now we're just going to go ahead and do that and I'm just going to bounce that around because this is like where we're starting because I don't really know where we're going with this look today. Like I have a vision in my brain. But it's like, can I make that come to life? We're about to find out. We are going to find out today. I just put that concealer on and I want to kind of just prime the lids with some powder. So I'm going to go into the shade Poof. It literally does not show up on my eyes at all really. Um, or maybe just like a tad tad. But it's just going to set everything and keep like that concealer from creasing any, any crazy stuff from going on. So today's look, I have a vision in my brain. I have a look. I don't really have the colors in my brain, but I want it to be bright and colorful. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm wanting to go based off an Instagram post that I love. It's called I Love Sadahi, or her name's Karen. She's a YouTuber. You know her. Um, and she did this look using the Kylie birthday collection. It was like that hot pink cut crease, and it was really, really dramatic. But I kind of wanted to do my own little spin on that, and so, ugh. So, <laughs> let's see where this goes. I think I'm going to go in with this little buffing brush very lightly into the shade. I think it's called Jada right here in the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to take that, with that little buffing brush. Buffing. And I'm going to, like, go along the bones in my crease very lightly. But this is just going to outline. I don't know why I'm so nervous about this. It's because I've never done... A look like this before and so I can't really say that I know what I'm doing see we've talked about this on my channel before but I'm convinced like this I like the difference between my brow and this brow is different but you know I think this looks pretty decent considering the fact that like I don't I've never done this before if you're new here the purpose of my channel is to show you like I'm a college student and it's to show that makeup can be fun and just like kind of like a relaxing getaway from um you know like hardcore makeup and I just want I just want this to be fun so now that we've kind of like created that outline I'm going to go back into that shade and this is like what I normally use for my eyebrows but I clean this off and we're gonna go back into that shade and this is more of a precise brush and so this is going to allow us to get like a firm distinct line going across like a little bit more deeper This is just allowing us to like really deepen it. And I'm kind of like tailing it out over here. And we're more focused on the top rather than the bottom because on the bottom we're going to fan it out a little bit like this, if you can tell. Okie dokie. So now what we're going to do, this is like from my Naked palette. I think this may be from like the OG Naked palette. I don't know. I'm, this is what I use for my concealer like always and so we're gonna go in like with a super little careful hand okay this looks like I'm just like ha ah. and we're gonna put this concealer all on that lid all the way up into like the edge of like a thin green line we're starting at the bottom and then we're gonna work our way to the top because I'm a little nervous and we're dragging that all the way out with the tail because like I don't want this concealer to dry and like crease up which it's like already doing I'm gonna go ahead and finish um, this eye and then I'll do the other one and so like on our main lid I'm gonna go I can't remember if this is like beam or what it is I'm just gonna go in this first shade in the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm gonna put this pretty much all over that lid 
And so, and this is not all we're gonna do. Trust me. And if you know me, you know this is like one of my favorite colors ever. I wear it on my face a lot. Now I think I'm gonna go into the shade Alert in the Vault Collection, which is this orange shade right over here. And I'm just gonna use this same little brush and we're just gonna pack that on the inner corner and we're gonna blend that kind of into the um, blue-green Jada shade and just kind of fade it out. And these colors, like, I don't care who says what about the Vault Collection, I got a good palette, okay? <laughs> or a good four palettes. Um, these are the most, like, buildable shades. And I'm not just saying that. I'm being real. You can see it. Like, I'm adding more of that color, and it's just getting deeper. And I like it. So you can see I just really, like, built that mainly just in that inner corner. And now I'm going to go into the shade Bomb A right here. And this is, like, my favorite color, Airy ever is like a cherry red that's what I was like trying to say and we're just gonna fade that like blend that into that orange shade I think I'm also gonna go over that alert shade in the inner corner with the shade who what's it called boom right here it's just a beautiful like coppery orange but at the same time it's like a summer orange and I'm just gonna pack that over just a smidgen because I want to keep it a little bit more shimmery than it looks now. Yeah, that's pretty. Like, not too much, just enough. You feel? You feel. I went ahead and caught myself up with the other eye, and then we're going to continue now. I just don't really like getting, like, super behind. You feel? You feel? I'm going to take this little nubby flat brush, and I know I'm the worst when this describing brushes, and I'm going to take some Fix Plus and just go, I just spritzed it a little bit. Now I'm going to go into the, um... Armed and Gorgeous palette, and I'm gonna go into the shade Coin over here. It is like a neon greeny yellow, and I'm gonna just take that and we're gonna finish it out with this shade. I know some of you are probably thinking, like, what kind of color combo is this? I don't like this brush. I'm gonna switch to the Morphe M 167 brush, and I'm gonna switch that, spritz that. Um, I'm gonna go back into that shade Coin, but anyway, I know a lot of you are probably thinking. What is this? I just wanted to do something bright, something fun, something colorful. I'm wearing orange right now. I have on gold. And then these are just some other really pretty shades in the palette. And summer is coming to a close, guys. So this is not something you would rock when you're rocking around the Christmas tree in a couple months. You know, I just wanted to give us one, one last little fun fun bright look because it's about to get into like the deeper tones and I'm so excited for it but um I just wanted to do something a little crazy I'm getting like 90s Saved by the Bell vibes you know late 80s 90s that's what I'm feeling right now I don't know I don't think they did their makeup like this then but still I'm going to go back in that Bomb A shade, and we're just going to blend that into that coin shade, I think it was called. Um, and just make sure they're like evenly blended. You feel? You feel. And so I'm just kind of like touching along those edges. And I'm going to go ahead and spritz my face with that Fix Plus, because that's sometimes I use that because it is like a primer too, if you want it to be. And for foundation today, I think... It's going to be a little bit too dark for me. My skin is just all over the place. I'm sunburnt um, and it's re recovering. So it's going to start getting a little darker soon. But then at the same time, I'm pastier than I've ever been. And so um, I need to start tanning again. But then again, I don't like the tan a bit. I need to lay out. But then again, I don't have time. So I'm just going to blend this out really quick. So I just blended that foundation out all over my face. And now I'm going to go in with that shape tape concealer and I'm just gonna really put that all mainly just under the eye um, because this is like a little dark for me so this foundation is so um, and this concealer is like very light so we're just gonna put that under the eye and a little bit in the forehead to kind of brighten Oop. yep mm-hmm so I'm being kind of careful when I'm going like around my eye and I'm going to kind of just like sharpen this little tail area. I keep calling it the tail 
not sure what the proper word is but I mean this is something I made so <laughs> it's my it's my tail so there's a powder I totally forgot I had that I used to love I'm pretty much almost out of it is the bare minerals eliminate eliminating mineral veil and um, I'm gonna put this on my under eye it's such a pretty shimmery powder and I think that's like perfect mainly for summer typically would apply this with a brush but I'm gonna put a sponge see how shimmery it is and then when you kind of like dust off the excess um, it just leaves like a super light shimmer and I love it but I'm gonna have to get like a new one if I want to keep using it and I just put that on that highlight area I'm gonna take some of the ColourPop um, setting powder to set the rest of my face and this is what I typically use for my bronzer, but this is all I have at the moment right in front of me. So I'm just going to dust that all, all over. I'm also going to like dust off a little bit of that excess um, powder. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of bronzer by Benefit. Well, not even like a little. Um, and we're going to contour. And so I'm going to go in with a little bit of ex a little excess bronzer. To really get it in there because you know I normally go over with my foundation brush anyway and this like my skin's looking a little light and so I really want to warm it up so I'm gonna get really into like all that hairline and push it in there I'm gonna soften it up with my Y6 brush we're also going to contour our nose. Under the dip. And I'm also going to go do my brows real quick and then I'll be right back. So I just did my brows. They don't look too perfect but I mean they never really do. Now we're going to warm up the face some more and I'm going to go into this Sonia Kashuk blush in sunset y'all know this is like one of my favorite summery brushes brushes blushes um and we're just gonna put the, that on the apples of my cheeks and i'm gonna wait and do highlight after i finish so we're gonna go into that original color i think it's called jada or something about a pool this one right here same little little smudge and brush and i'm gonna take that and line the waterline Just feel like that makes it like kind of pop you know as it all together I feel like I need to be on a movie or something like Star Wars or something I don't know I don't know man this is wild this is wild now I'm gonna line my water lines with just some black liner and I'm also gonna line a little bit on the top so I lined just enough to where the lashes that I'm gonna use aren't gonna like stick out. And the lashes that I'm going to use are actually like brand new, never used before. These are um, the Isler Vegas Nay or something. I don't know what they are. They're from Target. It's going to put on a little bit of mascara on the lashes that I do have. Almost forgot to do that. I'm not even going to lie. I'm going to go into the shade All Nighter by Kylie Cosmetics. This is one of the minis. I just thought this would be really pretty and keep it really bright. This is very 80s, 90s look. <laughs> Uh, and I like the minis because it kind of makes it easy to like line, you know, like around the lip, like this. So one of the last things we're going to do today is the highlighter. Honestly, I don't know how, but I almost forgot about it. And we're going to just use the French Vanilla by Kylie Cosmetics. Um, I was going to use the Santorini, but it's on the other side of my room right now. And I'm just not going to do that. So, and I thought this is, this is just such a pretty color. I've used this for like a year now. So I'm just highlighting, you know, getting that glow. I'm also going to take the end of this little brush and I'm going to highlight my brow bone with it. And I'm going to switch my face. Okay guys, that was it for today's video. This is the final look. I love it. I'm having fun with it. I feel like 
I'm in the 80s or the 90s, you know, something, something like that. And so, yeah, this is just like that last summer hurrah, going out with a bang, going out with those fun, colorful summer colors. And so I wanted to create this. This was all Morphe eyeshadows, and I think they work perfectly. And, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, and it was so fun having you here. And I can't wait to see you back here next time. So have a great day, and I love you. Mwah.